Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra Wallace TV, and I'm so happy, as always, to be here with you guys. I was looking at the laptop, and I know that you guys are here. But yeah, thank you so much for coming to my live stream. Um, I know that we're talking about this. If you are in the chat or a WhatsApp group, yeah, we're talking about this. Sad news uh, lately about this sad case um, between a foreigner, to be a specific American, and a Colombian woman, very beautiful Colombian woman. But yeah, this is happen, happen uh, here in the country. So we're going to talk about that today, uh, tonight, because actually it's a case that has a Colombian woman and be married with a American. I should say what I think about this case. So yes, you guys, thank you so much for coming to the live stream. Thank you so much to start to subscribing to the comments, to the love, to the super chat, the super stickers, everything. I always appreciate you guys, you support and you love. So uh, yes, you guys. Well, yeah, as you have been watching the the news constantly, we have we we uh, uh, we having a lot of information about this case more and more uh proof more um evidence and wow it has been really um how do you say overwhelmed is that right is that correct about this case and yes for the people that who don't know what i'm talking about um, yeah, we got a case here in, in Colombia, um, young female. I won't show any of those videos. If you want to watch, uh, um, on YouTube, they are on YouTube, but I don't want to show, uh, videos and nothing like that because it's really, really creepy and the way that these, uh, do act. But yeah, uh, what I'm talking about, it's, um, the relationship between uh, American men uh, who is 35 years old and a 20 year old, she was 21, 20, 23, you know, yeah, that, they say that, that age, uh, the media always say 21 or 22. So let's say between 21 and 23, very young woman, very beautiful woman. And she was a DJ. And her professional was really always uh, playing uh, playing her music and everything um, in different cities, different clubs in Bogota and, um, you know, outside of Colombia. So um, she learned this because her ex-boyfriend is a DJ. So he started to involve her in all this um, career, right? And starting from there, her name is, uh, was, my bad, her name was, uh valentina tres palacios so okay so she was a dj she met this foreigner this american uh what i'm saying is because what, what i'm talking about is because her family is start to give more and more information so i got all the information based on her family so uh she met him online and they started a relationship around 10 months ago right um, there's a relationship in her family say that they just, um, saw the, this American dude, his name is John, 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 <laughs> oh my God, I could with his, with his last name, my bad, you guys, I think I, I confuse his last name, but yeah, uh, he's 35. So they just, they, they just made like three times. They just made like three times, and um, let me see because I I confuse his last name. Ah, oh, yeah, John John Paulus, something like that. I'm apologize if I said wrong. Oh, the audience star. Okay, wow. Um, but yeah, he's on live right now. But yeah, they met online, and he met her family three times uh, for around ten months, and they went to Mexico too. Um the reason that this this is happened and why her family say is because he was really really jealous. Let me know if her okay, okay, thank you so much. I think everything is, is right with the audio. Okay. Um and yeah, 
he was super jealous with her. That was her mom say that he was really, really jealous. And he hired a detective because he started to suspect that she was cheating on him, right? And apparently the new information that we found out today is she got a trip to Aruba. What we don't know if it is true or not or what's going on is because he suspected that she was cheating on him and he she went with another dude. So that's the part that is, is not full evidence, but that's what the social media or the, the uh, papers say, new papers uh, say. So um, she he started a really big fight with her this last December. And her mom said, yeah, they got a fight because he was really jealous with her and her lifestyle. And, you know, she's a, she, she was a woman that always always around with men in 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 dj career is more is, is more predominant by guys so that was her mom say so um he hired a detective and everything and he come back to colombia this friday, this past saturday this past friday uh january 17 yeah um, this Friday, he came to Colombia and he's supposed to live permanent here in Colombia to live with her. So that's why she decided to uh, move in with him. Her mom say that it, that why are you taking slow? Do not, don't rush. And she responds, no more. I'm gonna live with him because I love him. So, um, so that happens this Friday. This Friday she got. Um, an event in a club. Then Saturday, she talked with her best friend by video call, and this is really important. So do not forget. Like Andrew said, don't forget you thought. <laughs> so um, she said, we have a video call. Her best friend. We have a video call, and she said, I'm not planning to um, be in a club tonight. That was this past Saturday, this past weekend. Uh, I'm gonna be here because I'm being. Um, playing you know working late so i'm gonna be here with uh with john um and that what happens around 8 p.m this past saturday her, her uh best friend saw the suitcase so the, thinking about that okay don't not forget that the suitcase so i saw a suitcase behind of her so okay then uh police found video that she was in a in a club with him in a club with him uh, that Saturday or this past Saturday, and uh, they left the 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 club around between four six a.m. Um, and then this is very important when she when she uh, ordered the Uber the Uber because here we use Uber Uber no uh, in driver my bad my bad in driver service. Um, she jumped to the car first and then she was surprised uh, that she um, takes a wrong message. When the, um, the in driver, the driver saw the message, you know, by the, the contact and everything, the message, the message uh, said, please help me, I'm in danger. And he asked her, the driver, are you okay? Are you, are you fine? And she said, yeah, I'm fine. And her boyfriend jumped. Uh, just seconds later and he said they start to fighting they start to have a discussion but you know they were drunk so um yeah that what happens with the with the in driver right then um this uh the last the last video that we have and we saw her alive it was for this sunday um in, in the how do you say in the morning yeah in the morning and then obviously those videos are on youtube and everything but yeah he you can see if you if you when you have the time to watch them when he he left the apartment he left the apartment and to get some food you can see that he was she was still alive in that moment she was outside of the apartment with pajamas you know comfortable clothes and everything and, she, and he was uh to take the elevator to uh pick up delivery so um so um he was like acting like he he wasn't calm 
like regular you just waiting that's it or watching your phone but he was constantly walking around his head like thinking like nervous like worry and all of that is uh evidence uh then in the in the morning the video say that he um grabbed her body and put her body inside the suitcase this that, that's what i say do not forget about the suitcase uh subject because it's really important he grabbed her body and put into the suitcase or at least her head was out right but he's trying to cover with a with a blanket and put all the the body in those uh grocery car you know we always got grocery car in the buildings you know that's always happens and just with a whole calm super calm he went to the basement and put the the body the suitcase into his car and then this job then he back he, he took the the grocery car back to the basement drinking water because he was tired and and then and then uh he drove to other a uh, neighborhood right and then he put the the whole evidence the whole body and every and everything into a trash can a big big one not just small just a big container so uh this sunday this and if i say monday my bad i don't remember but this sunday happens all of that all that i'm talking about happens this sunday um so yeah that happens and um a homeless person found her he opened the the the, tr the container and he saw a, a head so he immediately called the police they start to investigate who it was and everything okay uh so that was um the story part one you know like i said every day we have new evidence about this and uh families start to to get more and more information so and he another thing when he went to uh, because immediately my bad <clears throat> immediately uh he took all her stuff we don't know what he did with all her stuff, clothes and everything we don't know because we don't have that that video yet but um he uh jumped to the el dorado airport you know the airport in bogota he jumped to the el dorado he left the car that he rent for three days so he rent the car for three days right not for months he's supposed to live here forever because that was the plan that was her family say um you rent the car for two three weeks or some or you you know but he rent the car for three days okay so um he took the car to the company you know and he jumped to he went to 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 because he got a ticket to panama and panama to turkey right so he left the the country he was caught in panama uh la interpol everything the the their job and he one of the things that the, the police found that he threw her phone to a trash can in the airport so they found her phone too and they start to investigate more and more and more information and you know guys uh, one of the things here is I, I was you know because they they have his passport so he has been in turkey multiple times and everything so what they, they got me thinking la like andrea that i've been thinking is it if it, is this is the first time it doesn't look like the first time to me so they need to investigate if he did it he did it more than one time you know um but yeah he got different interest to turkey the he got uh more than one ticket he got two more tickets to if, uh, turkey is not his place istanbul so he going to run away to other countries but yeah that's one of the things um about this case they has been trendy and a bomb in colombia so i'm gonna start with the comment section after that i gave my intro about this story okay let me drink water <clears throat> mm. 
Thank you, Stefano, for being here. I'm Gucci. I'm fine. <laughs> Africa Wall, thank you a lot for being here. Yeah, get that. Yeah, pour corn ready. Hello to you. Thank you a lot for coming to the live stream. I think this light is, is, is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's too, too bright. Okay. There we go. There we go. Better. Okay. Mom is here. Um, yeah. Um, Colombian, of course. Thank you a lot for saying that I um, speak good English. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to start with this. Uh, you guys, why he didn't he, okay, why didn't he just break up with her on Good uh, Bridge? Oh, okay. Let her uh, live her life. That's one of the things that I'm totally 100% agree. What really got me in this case in, 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 and it's really, I don't know, uh, very disrespectful because you're supposed to see that Colombians are like more supported, you know? And the thing that I've been, the comments that I've been reading in everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, is this. Uh, she know what she get into it. Those type of comments about that what she gets because she wants the green card. That what she gets because she wants the visa. That's what you get because you want the American dream. Another one is um, if you look at her the way that she dressed, surgery because she got both surgery, good job and everything. She was very pretty, physically very pretty. Um, and, uh, the way that she looks, the way that she dressed, surgeries, what do you expect to for? I mean, all those type of comments that, um, you see like, like for real. And, and I say this, I'm not saying that she was, I'm not saying that, that she was, but let's see, let, let's say that, um, your girlfriend is a prostitute, for example. That's not the reason. That's not give you the reason to kill her. That's where I'm going, right? So that's the part that gave me the most because I say, I am, and, you know, people say that and people say this too. Uh, that's why uh, all gringos are crazy and I'm psychops. That's uh, why you get into a, to a relationship with a foreigner. Delete. Oh, my bad. Delete. <laughs> I need to put this here. Exactly. You know, you two rules. Delete her. Okay, my bad. Okay. So that's not the reason. And another thing is that people start to generalize that all foreigners are crazy psychops and they go into different countries just for the leap uh, woman. And is 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 really crazy but i've been reading lately and of course you know that i i made my comments and respond to people and because seriously you need to have common sense and understanding and 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 it's a life right and perfect uh comment that brothers aboard travel say um just break up with her yeah if a your girlfriend, you see that your girlfriend is not bring you, is not uh, give you any peace. And if you feel that that um, you mind that you're losing your mind, that that you're going to a big hole with that person, leave that person for real, for God's sake, <clears throat> my bad, and for your mental health, leave that person. But why just ruin your life, your family life? I her life, right? And another thing, you guys, um, this um, person, this this man, uh, John, I forgot his name. No, I forgot. It's, it's Paulius, right? I got the, the case here too. Um, 
that's the thing. Social media found that he's married. One thing, they say, oh, he's divorced or he's still married. So end of the day, he got a wife and three kids, three kids. So you don't even thinking about, about your family. One of your kids have cancer because one of his kids uh, have cancer. And that's the thing that you don't thinking about, right? And another thing is um, when they, you know, uh, Medicina Legal, the people who investigate a case like this, um, they, they found her, of course, with a pijama, with a pijama, and or pajamas. We say pajamas in español. And she was wearing a faja. You know, a faja is... Uh, it's like, um, I'm gonna explain a faja. It's like a special clothes when you have a surgery, a plastic surgery. So she was, she used to sleep with a faja in her um, stomach. So what makes me think because I have plastic surgery is she got plastic surgery months ago, months ago. So even though, for example, if he paid for those plastic surgery, maybe he thought that he was uh, her own, that he belongs to me. Nobody, nobody meant you to pay plastic surgery or to give her one. Nobody, no one. It was your decision. It was your fault. So, yeah, that's one of the things that, th th that got me the most. Um, the people is not... They don't understand that it was alive, that, that it was a young woman. Uh, that is not fair, of course. Okay, I'm going to continue with the comment section. Uh, this is wild. It is. It is. Um, they call him in, um, in Panama. He is in Colombia right now, and he they are in the audience right now, in la audiencia, with all the lawyers and everything, uh, right right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Kies, thank you so much for being here. Mr. Bobby Wright, thank you a lot. <laughs> Shout out to Low Crossing Borders, of course. Uh, healthy Black Peep Diet, <laughs> thank you a lot for being here. Find the law in the Dominican Republic. Hello to you. How are you fine? Uh, yeah, what what connection do you think he has with Turkish, with, with Turkia? <laughs> Let's say Turkia for me. That's the thing, Jay. Thank you, Jay, for being here. That's the thing that I'm start to 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 thinking about. Like, why has been so many times in 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 Turkia? Why? Because it's uh, in analy I, I'm I'm analyzing this case with with, with my friends too and everything. And with uh, step by step, is the fact like, okay, you not, you, I mean, you not get crazy just to get crazy. It's something behind of that that makes you like that. You you know what I mean? So, yeah, what we what we say is, he planned this. He already got this plan, uh, and he start to suspend everything, and she he just wants to. Um, delete her. Uh, thank you for being here. Yeah. Uh, okay. God lead it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know. My bad. My bad. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Wallace, I'm sorry, but okay. I'm sorry, but I have to do it respectfully disagree with you you should referring to these white dudes uh they have a long history trial record just be honest yeah that's true that's true and not being uh saying this many times in i think uh, crossing borders because most of the cases that we know about colombian women got the lead by american is because why Jews over there and over here? I'm not generalized all white 
Jews or white Americans, you know, but most of the cases that we have coming from white America. Yeah, it's, it's true, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waist trainer. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, one thing is waist trainer and one thing is a faja because I use a waist trainer, but faja is all a thing. And it's, 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 it's different, like, different type of underwear or, or, or clothes to when you get a plastic surgery. surgery. Um, okay. Uh, I will say that he did it because in America, <laughs> you guys, how to, you guys, uh, right, America. America, uh, he has the right look to get away with something like this. To know what I mean. Okay, okay, I got you. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, this situation is horrible. It is. It is. James say, imagine if a black passport bro did this. Yeah, we have been talking about that in our WhatsApp group. Like, what about if a sorry, my bad. <clears throat> a black American did this. You know how crazy we'll be. Yeah, we were talking about that. We were talking about that. Do we know what her family thought about him? Sometimes families see behavior before the actual actual uh, victim. Yeah, they interview her mom, uh, news. They interview uh, her brother, best friend, two best friend, um, co-workers, and her mom, because she used to live with her mom, she said that he looks, or he, or he apparently looks, really calm like really pacific person like like no nothing like you see him and he apparently looks like nice a nice person but she said they gotta fight she thought she said they gotta fight um in december because he's jealous problem starting from there okay yeah okay wait a second let me hello thank you so much for being here okay michael say has a dj myself it makes me uh, really sad reading that story she had so much going for her rest in peace to valentina and shout out to you andra and cover this topic yeah it was something that i, I, I no I, it was we're like you know what that's very very important to talk about and are you doing a panel tonight yes i'm doing a panel tonight guys because i know but um it was a word that andrew has for panels i show you your face <laughs> no a black screen but yeah i'm doing a panel tonight you guys because this is very important to to hear what you guys have to say about this case has been now that he's in daily the daily mail and everywhere so yeah of course um all white men okay all white mass shooters looking look like nice boys yeah if okay if he know to have a hat okay is he known uh, to have uh, mental health issues? No, that's the part that we don't know. They, 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 that's the part that we don't have yet about his wife, about if he got any mental issues. And another thing, he's coming from, what do people say? That he's coming from a rich family in, Tex in Texas. So, yeah. Uh, people have been talking BS about the age different um, and everything. It, uh, it's, it's really ignorant, really ignorant uh, the way that I see it and generalize young women. So, and blame her. 
what happens to her. That's the part that gave me the most because people has been constantly blaming her the way that she was, the way that she was she she looking, uh, the way that she got plastic surgery, the way that her profession was a DJ. So people say that was that was that's why you deserve because you like was a full of scenes like so yeah, I give my opinion in, in, in so many comments because it, it's really sad. Nothing justify um, this scenario. Nothing. Not all. Not all. Uh, okay. German is here. Thank you, German, for being here, the sister. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's one of the things. If you enjoy the panel, you have to be on camera. No avatar, guys. Yes. Uh, German, um, this will to do folds have more differently. Uh, for the most part, they operate in the real world. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, that's what the, that's what the. Um, let me put here. the um, the link if you want to enjoy this panel okay you guys let's see i got two keyboards right here okay you guys that was that is the link for uh the panel but yeah you guys that's one that's one of the things that um they have the audience right now. If uh, you can see, I don't know if I can show you here. My phone is going on. This is okay. It's going on right now here. And and her family got one. What? That's why <laughs> Colombia say okay. At least they got a good lawyer because the lawyer that got this case in Colombia is one of the best lawyers in the country. So. Only he is on the Valentina Valentina side, so people say that this dude is gonna die here because he wants. He said we asked for fifty years in prison. Yeah, so that's one of the things, you guys. Uh, do knows better. Yeah. Yeah, that's re that's really really sad around the country that happens this uh, this month. And uh, okay, okay, let me let me um, yeah today. Okay, another one of the things is let me translate this word because I don't know how to translate. Okay, the way that he delete her. Um, what Medicina Legal say is she got multiple signs in her face, um, and she was delete. She was deleted. Is that right? While she was sleeping. So apparently he waits that she was sleeping, and he grabbed like a core. You know, a cord or, or something, and and put on her neck until she stopped breathing, and he got a really um how do you say um like a scratch in his face because in Panama when they took the photos of this guy um got a big one, just a big one, like seriously. So that means that she trying to defend to defend herself and she couldn't. She couldn't, you know, men always is stronger physically than a woman. So um he delete her like that. We grab some put a, a cord or something in her neck and just start to do all of this and she stopped breathing, breathing. And yeah, that's that's why basically what Medicina Legal say and her funeral start today in Bogota. So yeah, thanks God that police start working a lot. Uh, Monday, um, they start to suspect like why he delete all his so his social media. 
<clears throat> my bad, because immediately this happened, he jumped, he left the country, and he deleted all his social media and disappeared. So police start to um, investigate, investigate, and like, Interpol did an amazing job, and they caught up in Panama um, yesterday. No, sorry, my bad. Um, Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Tuesday. And yesterday, during the night, they brought him to, police brought him to Colombia. Yeah, because the case happens here. So he's going to jail here. Yeah. Okay. Um, the guy may be running to Turkey because they don't have his tradition. We love uh, in, with Colombia. Yeah, that's why uh, it's per se. Yeah, and he got different countries that they don't have any extradition to any country. So he got multiple tickets. He got so many options for like, Turkey is not working, I'm going to other country. But yeah, okay. Um, I just looked at uh, his pick and he's absolutely looks like someone who probably have zero game and when he found a pretty young woman he will have issues with letting her go yeah he looks like yeah he looks like for real for real another thing that one of the comments that i read about this because i give you guys the whole information that i have uh, obviously, I'm not showing any videos. Mm, no. Uh, but yeah, one of the comments say, let me, let me find it. I got a long comment. Uh, okay. One of the comments, um, it was from a Colombian who he's citizen in the States. And he said, and he said, uh, that happens a lot here but he is specifically he is specific say white men white americans they always um and he, that would the comments say okay say they always want a latina high latino woman to have the experience the intimacy and everything and they're going to all the countries to do stuff that here they can do so you you see that it's a lot of crazy people psych uh, or a uh, psycho people uh overseas but he specifically say white people and then he said he coming and he said i got a um a niece from barranquilla and she met uh, an american white american blonde with blue eyes you know and she was very excited because she finally got a gringo so he's supposed to go to colombia to see her and he said okay so give me his contact i can contact him and we investigate who he was who 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 uh who is your boyfriend and he never answered the 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 American never answered his phone, never uh, his blog, the calls and everything. So he said, you see, I mean, see the conversation is say, that's the result that, that you need to be careful what type of people you meet online, you know? But yeah, that's one of the things, um, mm -hmm. the white man is Jeffrey Einstein uh, worldwide. Yeah. Okay, what's up? What's up, Cortez? Okay, we have Estefano here. I'm going to buy Estefano. Let me. Okay, Estefano, let me know if everything is ready for you. Okay. Um, if his people got money, they would definitely try to uh, ride his way out of trouble. That we, we think. The white man is Jeffrey Einstein worldwide, and his woman is Maswell. I can pronounce his name. Okay. Find the law. says, so many beautiful women in Colombia. I don't, uh, I, okay. I don't know why he was so possessive and should have, uh, have let her, left her go and move on. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna bring Estefano to the panel. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see if uh, when he got his Audi and everything ready. Okay, he got his, his mic like black. Yeah, okay. Hey, okay, finally. What's going on, sis? I'm 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 pretty Gucci. <laughs> I got that word here. all the time. Gucci. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, this is a crazy. Okay. This is very crazy because it really casts a bad light on the most gringos coming to the country trying to do positive things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean yeah. I'm not saying the number one thing that men will come there for is women, but let's just say by chance you meet someone when you get there, you know, because a situation mm -hmm. like this, it makes it a little harder for someone mm -hmm. to trust in you, especially a family, because you know in Columbia it's all about family. So families would be yeah. real, real hesitant to be like, okay, well, yes, you can date my daughter. We don't know you, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. It, it, it is. Basically, it, it is. And what the thing that I don't like is people generalize everything. You know, when something happens in Colombia with the, you know, foreigners got drugged here, they generalize the old Colombian women. We are in the same way. And it's the same thing right now with the uh, foreigners. And so people say the foreigners are all, all bad. They're all crazy. They're just coming here to do, um, you know, uh, provide things or uh, just play with the woman or abuse the woman, all of that, which yeah. is it's not yeah. true. Yeah. It's not true. But that's the part that give me the most. Uh, the people don't, does it, the, they're not, is that right? I say sensitive or sensible with this sensitive. case. Sensitive. Yeah. Sensitive. I, we say sensible okay. in Espanol. Uh -huh. okay. But that's one of the parts that, that, that is really sad. People is not doesn't have any empathy with this case at all. And, and there's no way for people to just actually know each other because the same thing they say about us, they say about people in other countries. They're crazy, basically. It's the same thing. But, you know, I'm, I'm not, I just don't understand why a lot of men do what this guy chose to do. Like, if it just ain't working, just let it go. Like, if you got to go through all that, dude, it's just not worth it at all. No, it's not. But I'm pretty sure, I don't know, this is me just thinking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know if he got the confidence to find or to have a woman and not show money or not pay for something, you know. Uh, because you see based of the photos, if you look the photos or see how he looks like physically, um, yeah, it, it, because we see this so many times in Colombia, just mm -hmm. regular dude tried to buy her a Colombian a woman with all of that, and it looks like he got a lot of confidence. It looks like based off his photos. Mm -hmm. I never see his photos, but it sounds like to me he has very severe control issues. Yeah. Control yeah. issues. It's a large portion of men that do things like that. Like they want to control every aspect of your life, and it's red flags if you pay attention to the family. The family probably saw that, but she was mm -hmm. so in love with the guy, she probably ignored. Like most people do, you know, they ignore all of the red flags until it ends up backfiring in their face, and then they say, "Oh, what well, I do, <laughs> you know, well, I should." Mm -hmm. Yeah, that the red flags. Yeah, I'm totally uh, agree with you uh, in the jealousy part too. But that's one of the things that, that I think I didn't say this um, on the video, on the chat, or here on, in the live stream. I mean, so many women, no, but so many women, when you young, you got a big mistake. You make a big mistake and you think that jealousy is romantic. You think the jealousy 
is uh or someone that is jealous is he loves me in <laughs> especially younger woman i mean she was i'm not saying that she was innocent but she was really young she was 20 21 years old you just start living life you just, and 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 yeah some women they, they think that is beautiful that is romantic that is love that he loves me uh, mm -hmm. no for yeah. for real to be honest it's no you need to be careful with those signs so they were from bogota the, yeah uh yeah like i said before she used to live with her mom and her mom told her this friday just happened this not even a week ago this friday that do not rush take the the take it slow you know and valentina told her mom mom i'm gonna live with him I'm, I'm i'm in love with him and i'm going to live with him and she packed all her stuff and moved in with him um this friday friday night so it was really fast he rented the apartment and everything and that's one of the things that i was coming on the on youtube you know people just posted the news i say they need to check his apartment they need to check his apartment because the apartment got all the evidence, videos, and what happens today. They start to show all the evidence when he took her body out in a grocery cart, everything. So the apartment got all the evidence, all videos, everything. That's crazy. That's crazy. It is. Mm. It is. Okay, Estin was a high level child molestation dealing with a big time rich fault and pollutions worldwide. The only reason that they believe him was because he trained to a rat on the big boys. Yeah, so I watched that um, documentary too. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I will say one concerning thing is that now with the passport, issue in brazil the media will start focusing more on these dues to continue canceling men traveling ab um, aboard what do you think about that i don't think that's true i mean it's a good point though you know it casts a bad light like i was saying earlier about guys coming from the united states trying to go to mm -hmm. these other countries uh, because it's going to make it seem a little suspicious the more and more things keep happening, you know what I mean? Uh, tourism is a big business for a lot of countries, so they uh, they won't stop people from coming. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't, if, let's say, for instance, if things like this keep happening, you know they will be able to put together a, a special police task force to just monitor and watch certain people. I mean, we do it here to people that come from uh, Afghanistan, places like that, they just watch the people. So mm -hmm. if people were to keep coming from here, going to other places, what was to be, what would just, what would stop them from doing it to us in these countries? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I <laughs> something's going on. Yeah, that's that's really true. Nothing's going to stop people going to come in a lot of course and it's just like walking in in um how do you say in like like an egg shells you know, you know, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. right now where all of this happened for real Pins, thank you so much for your donations salute to drea stefano in the chat <laughs> thank you a lot saying she was uh, 23. Yeah, they said 23, 21, but anyway, she was under yeah. 25 and she was very young. Uh, thank you a lot to coming to the live stream. He said uh, she quite jealousy with affection. Both are not the same or, com or compatible, but her age is a factor. Yeah. Yeah, she was very young. Maybe she didn't have experience to deal with those type of relationships. Mm -hmm. mm. There's so many things that you think about this. The one thing that I don't see in these interviews is her dad. Exactly. That's one of the things you guys 
uh, that they never, her dad is like disappeared. People asking about where is her dad? I mean, this is really important to know his opinion. We don't know if he's dead, he's alive. We don't know anything about her dad. Yeah, you got to be involved um, with your daughter. I was a single parent. I raised my daughter from nine years old to 19 by myself. There's no way I wouldn't be involved in that. I'm involved with him now. I just randomly pop up at a house sometimes. I know it's irritating, you know, but I'm uh -huh. dead, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just me going and stopping by and making sure everything's okay. And, mm -hmm. you know, young young women think that it's cute that men do these type of things. My daughter did too. Now it's irritating. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? My daughter's 25 now. It was cute when she was 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Now it's irritating. So, yeah, you started to rise up sooner or later. Yeah, uh, I guarantee that you, the dad, will have to delete all behavior immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the things that where is her dad? Everybody question about that. Mom never answered. Of course, you understand mom is going through so many things right now. Um, and people even criticize how how calm is the mom? Like she talks like very uh, fluently, very calm. And I'm like, Oh my, oh my God, let her breathe for real, for God's sake. I mean, maybe it's the way that she is, it, uh, but people. Okay, kids say, I wanted to go to Colombia this year. I'm just afraid of the uh, scopolamina issue and I hear it's really easy to get. Uh, it's the fact I would say, um, just seriously, don't give papaya with, with Tinder. <laughs> And yeah, seriously, a lot of comments that say that's why you don't have to use Tinder in Colombia. I respond, that's true. That's my advice with foreigners who, for the first time coming to Colombia, not even for the first time, you have been here for 20 years, still not using Tinder because seriously, it's a bomb, especially in the gym. Especially, I mean, but here, the same thing can happen to you here. Like when I'm in the club, I don't yeah. need to drink on a table here. Why would I do it in Medellin? Exactly. Anywhere else. So you can't worry about mm -hmm. getting scoped. I think is what they how they say it. You get scoped. You can't worry about that. As long as you are protecting yourself and making sure that you are not being mm -hmm. vulnerable, you'll be okay. And 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 don't put yourself in places and situations that can get you into that. Okay, wait a second. We got here brothers aboard. I I I hope that I pronounce really well. <laughs> you know my pronunciation. What's going on, guys? Uh, if y'all can give me one moment because I can't hear y'all. Um, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, okay? that's okay. I'm be okay, right back. cool. Okay, I'm cool. Te technical. Okay, there we go. He's ready. Okay, let's see. Uh, the comments. Let me go to. Uh huh. You will avoid. You will avoid. Uh, avoid it if you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's only. It's only. <laughs> this the connection. The connection, right? I need to ask a favor to Dre. To Dre. If we can do the door open, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's fine. Okay. We said that I'm trying to. There we go. Finally. There's something going on with the mouse. Okay. I love you. Okay. Uh, you got any video that you suggest on? Um, no. Really? Can I send the link? Uh, okay. Can I send uh, the link where her father uh, the comment? Oh, okay. He finally show up because right now, so far, I haven't seen him. Okay. Uh, a Texas dude delete four people drunk driving, and because he was he was white and rich, his defense was uh, that he was too rich to know right for wrong. 
so no uh got no jail time the same happens in colombia is the same thing in colombia that was people has been kind of worried because say okay he's coming from a rich family in texas so we hope that he he didn't use or he used his money to buy the colombia law you know because i already know how is the law in my country and mm, mm, it's a headache to be honest <laughs> It is. This is a case of uh, obsession and jealousy, and I'm sure there are many cases like this done by Colombians to other Colombians. Thank you. That is so true. Not just Anna going far. Just a couple of days ago, I posted this new in the group, uh, in, in Stefano, and very beautiful Paisa woman, but she was really nice physically. She got the lead by her ex-boyfriend. She went to the police. She uh, exposed the case to say, hey, my ex-boyfriend constantly is calling me and, and follow me. And I'm very, um, I'm very uh, worried about my life. Nothing happened. And he deleted her inside the car. This is happening in Manrique, Medellin, just one week ago, just a few days ago. So that's one of my things. Oh, that's one of my comments. Like, uh, so you think that that's never happened, Colombians to Colombia? So just, just foreigners do this to Colombians? No. So that's one of the things. Stop dating with foreigners. Why you put all foreigners in the basket? That's my that that's the part. Why you put everybody in the same basket? But yeah, that's excellent comment. That happens a lot here, and nothing happened. It's easy to generalize people. Very yeah, it's so easy. It's so easy. The part of visa, the part of green card, the part of the the, the um, say she was following the American dream and she was still dreaming. That's very, very uh, unfair uh, opinion. Because you, you you blame someone and she can defend herself. She can. No. There's no way. No, I don't I don't think he's gonna get away with it. What I would <laughs> what would this is how you react with two tips. Mm -hmm. You don't hear about it for a very long time. Things like these in countries like Colombia or say like a Venezuela, someone like this. It, it stays in the paper. It stays in front of you. If it disappears, that's when you worry about it. You know, money can buy stuff here in the States. Mm -hmm. costs a lot more overseas, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't care how much money you got. You're not going to be able to buy everything. Everything does not have a price. But at the same time, you know, there are corrupt laws and corrupt systems in other countries, too. So you can't really put it past them. Just watch for it to go away. If it goes away, that's when you know something's wrong. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think he's going to get away with it because he's American. Mm -hmm. People like that tend to make an example out of it. Yeah. No, I think that he's not run away either because social media, you know, they, they already know. Uh, Social media is on top of this case right yeah. now. Yeah, the so detectives out there, they they're on the case all the time. Yeah. This is exactly international too. They're gonna yeah. And he ran. It's not like he stayed. No. Yeah. Okay, King say he is only two sentences, but he did but he did comment. Uh okay, okay. Yeah, this um um american he got he got so many how do you say sentencias i'm gonna say in espanol uh one thing obviously feminicidio for, for the little woman my bad the little woman and the other one is one of them he got so many but the other one is he tried to hide um evidence he trying to hide it or uh remove all those evidence so he got so many sentences right now. 
Okay, uh, we got here. Wait a second. Let me go. Okay, how is important? E okay, how important is a dad to a woman in Colombia? Did your dad watch over you when you were yeah all the time, and he is still. My dad doesn't live with me because he can, of course, because no. But if he's with him, he'll be living here. Yeah, it's very important. That's why everybody like, okay, where's her dad? Okay, um, Germán say the money must be good for her family, but not to have any of you uh, interview in, in their relationship. Her family said that they just met him, saw him three times. That's it. That's it. No more. Three times. And he and she got a relationship with him, and he said they they just oh he just come to Colombia three times he just that would her mom say um he came to colombia uh the second time he came for one day because they went to mexico together then he come back right now this january that's too soon that's too soon to live with a person like okay that's okay you know that's other thing you just know a person twice you're gonna you know i'm sorry the, the the living with with andre like five months it was back and forth back and forth back and forth the thing was Andre trying to spend a lot of quality with me you know and me and my family and interview with my family and talk with my dad face to face and you, you know not try like oh let's see let's go into this part or this part or let's go to this place and not having that uh, bond with your family. That's why based on the, her family, it, her family say, they just saw like three times and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna try to go to Medellin this summer for six, six three months uh, for a Spanish uh, immersion course. Colombia has a good Spanish dialect. Yeah, yeah, we do. That's easy to understand. Yeah, we do. <laughs> But um, avoid uh, learning Spanish with um, costeños, with people from the Atlantic coast, because they speak so fast, and you don't understand what they say. <laughs> it's like talking with a Dominican or Puerto Rican. It's the same thing. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't yeah. understand a lick of Dominican Spanish or Puerto Rican. <laughs> Me either. And, and when they speak Espanol, it, I don't understand what they're saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and say, don't go on Tinder. Meet someone through friends groups. Don't be too uh, antsy for the intim for intimate experience. Okay. Experience. Okay. Uh, mm hmm. Okay. This is a means a uh, cultural. Uh, um, but what are you talking about, please? Because he made a question. Thank you, kids, for my match. Oh, uh, it's really unfortunately because there's no eye uh, in this. I'm gonna have a fight with this mouse. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's really unfortunate because there's no winners here. I can't believe that he has three kids, both families. Loves, yeah, he ruined his life forever. That's clear, and uh, he doesn't under he doesn't understand any español. Yeah. So that's even worse. Uh, so much worse. Uh, Tevin, my condolences to the young lady. Yeah, I mean, end of the day, like I said, she could be the worst woman in the world but that wasn't the reason to delete her at all it wasn't the, the the right uh the right thing and like for like i said before for your mental health if a person you see that person not bring you any peace any um any more uh, positive things in your life leave her or leave him 
For real. Yeah. You can For always real. start over and meet somebody else. You can what? Sorry? You can always start over and meet somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in our group, in our WhatsApp group, guys that live in here in Colombia, they say there's so many Colombian women, beautiful, gorgeous women, and you get just you you just got crazy just for one that they say just for one woman and you just lose your mind for one woman when this country you go to any city and 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 um and you find your woman yeah uh i'm surprised no one's talking about this topic as much how your culture is talking about Austin, <laughs> Austin, Austin. Um, yeah, to me, it was very important coming from I'm a Colombian woman. So I got my special opinions about this and even fight with people because that's not right to not have that sensitive with her family, with her life. And yeah, whatever she does, that's, that wasn't the right thing. And yeah, and the part, people say the part is like he start to investigate her. He start to know about her um, with her friends because that's one of the things that I didn't mention. He sent $1,000 to one of her best friends. And we're like, why he sent $1,000 to this lady? And the moment that they, the, the news. <laughs> that's a lot of money. That's a lot. That's four million something. And. Mm -hmm. And another thing it was uh, when they, they, the um, news interviewed her, she covered her whole face, like the whole face with a jacket. And they were, they, they started to ask questions about this young lady. And she would like, doubt about it. She would like, like, like she, she wasn't direct, you know, with the information. So a lot of, we said, like, okay, what's going on with her best friend? Why, why? Because she got two best friends that they interviewed. And why she just not going to stray with the information? Why she cover her face? Is she hiding something? Why he sent her one thousand dollars? Or she was part of the detective job that he hired to to um how do you say to um follow her? No, but to know what she was doing while he was in the states. If you could give some advice to the families of women dating foreign men, right? Mm -hmm. Outside of something you would give in a consultation, what would you tell them? What I would tell them is just take the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of craziness out there um, outside of the country, outside of Colombia, in Colombia you know but it just take the time to know that person the feeling with that person of course is is very very important uh in trying to know uh, um much information or trying to to get real information about that person yeah when i start because i tell you the truth when i start dating with dre i got uh friends and some family members but they're like not closer they're just you no know, far, like far away i don't know like uh familia lejana and, and they start to ask me about what he does for a living what's this what's that what uh college he worked like all his information why mm -hmm. because they say is not because we're doing something bad it's because some americans they're crazy so obviously as a family member, we trying to, to find out what is the real information, what if it's true or not. So that's one of the things that my um, advice with women that start to, or they want to start to dating with a foreigner is take your time. Do not rush just because, and another thing, I mean, don't start to ask for money. I mean, yeah. For what reason? Send me 500. Yeah. Send me 1,000. Send me. You're not even his woman yet. That's and they're supposed to get him married. That was his, her mom say. 
that they're supposed to get married. But take your time, especially if he's not sharing a quality time with you and you and with your family, take even more time. Okay. Being a woman that's married to a foreign man, right? Knowing that you and Andre had to mm-hmm. launch this relationship and it took time to build mm-hmm. and grow things together, right? What mm-hmm. if, outside again, outside of a consultation, not to give too much away. What advice would you give to the audience, to the men? Because there's a lot of men in here, right? Listen, mm-hmm. what advice would you tell them to do if they met someone, not just from Colombia, right? Mm-hmm. But any country outside of the States? Because you know the States is based off of individualism. It's mm-hmm. not like that everywhere else. And sometimes people who do not understand other cultures mm-hmm. mess that part up. Yeah. What would you tell them to do if they met someone from a strong cultural background other than the one that they already know? What is the recommendation? Um, about uh, wait a second. Let me let me get my idea clear about dating with um not just Colombia any any type of culture. Well, it's not any well. Let's. Well, we can leave European culture out because it's kind okay. of similar to the United States, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say any culture similar to the culture that you grew up in that's based mm-hmm. strongly on family, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is to me that's something that they need to know. Like I have a friend dating a Venezuelan one right now. I'm mm-hmm. on him so hard right now because I got 15 years in learning about the culture and tradition. Mm-hmm. And being in a relationship with Latinos, this is his first go around. I'm trying to tell him what to do. We need to listen to the music, learn some dances, all of these things. He ain't, yeah. doing, it. He ain't doing it. So, <laughs> yeah, he's going to blow it. It's, it's about, yeah, 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 he's going to blow it. But what advice would you tell the men to do? Would you tell them to do things like that? Like, you need to be trying to understand about family values and things like this in the country mm-hmm. because it's important. Yeah, one hundred percent, you guys. And, and and yeah, for the first time, you're gonna start your dating with a let's say Colombian woman or Latino woman in general. In 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 Latin America, not saying in the states, mm-hmm. uh, but in in Latin, for example, is understand that we super. Mm-hmm super family people we really do we really do and that's one of the parts that i know that some, for some for some people is hard because i understand that for example in you guys culture you are more um you don't have that connection too much you know or uh you're not super closer right mm-hmm. Based what I see, what Andres telling me, so but mm-hmm. we are in, compared to us, we are super close to our family for real. That's why I put the example, and I was joking, but it's true. If my dad got the chance to live with me, he will be living with me because he's <laughs> he's still treating me like a baby. He still see me like a baby as a baby. No, yeah, for real. And Andre always make a fun of, about him, but that's the part that we are super closer, and that's one of the things. The foreigner needs to understand how we are, we are family. Um, but yeah, in trying to blend with this culture, trying to blend uh, how we are, what is, okay, obviously depends the country that you're going, is different culture. For example, yeah. Venezuela and Colombia got a similar, very similar Peru to Ecuador, Mexico. We got similar culture. But yeah, it's trying to, to, to blend and to, you know, go with the flow with the culture. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the things. And I'm assuming because you are a foreigner, she's going to stop to seeing her family or share with her family. That's not going to happen. You okay, I think I'm going to go out. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Finally. <laughs> so sorry about that, uh, people. Um, I was having uh, complications. Um, but just to uh, chime in on to the current um, conversation, um, me that was in Brazil, um, I agree with her 
You know, um, family is very important to um, Latin Americans as a collective. Um, so I have a question for you then, um, because since Latin American families are so sh uh, structured around each other, um, how important is it if a, if a gringo wants to take take the woman away from their homeland and live in a different country where that guy is from? Um, how likely is that to happen? Is it common or is it not common? Is uh, uh, I would say that is I will I will say that's very common, but it's common. Thank you, thank you, baby. It's common because um, yeah, we have we have those cases here plenty of times. But why a family says take your time to know him. Say okay, brought him because if you want to live with him, I want to know him. I want to see what he was doing. No going far. You going to for example, for just example, you go into the coffee region, the coffee part. You tell okay, let's go with your uh, boyfriend. You know, American boyfriend. And let's go to have a family time. Everybody together. So they go to the whole family to the coffee part with the boyfriend too. Because if you're supposed to go to live in, in the States, we need to know him and know his family and know, yeah, introduce me, his family and everything. Because Colombians, we already got that mindset based on the cases that we watched many, many years ago. We see Colombian women get married with, in that what I said, white Jews, because those are everywhere in the news, especially with white Jews. And years later, they found her the lead her, you know, to not say, to not say the other word. They found her, she right. disappeared and everything. Exactly. So, uh, so does uh, family put more pressure when you say, uh, we're going to apply for the K-1 visa or the married visa. So they put more pressure uh, on you to know him better. Thank you. Okay. I have a follow-up question, if you don't mind. Um, just going back to, um, when you said that for, for the majority of Colombians, they tend to, to uh, marry white foreigners or gringos, you know, it's more favorable. But I would just ask you, and speaking in general, okay, in general, mm -hmm. um, if you guys have white Colombians there, I'm pretty sure you guys have your Eurocentric looking Colombians in your own country. What would be the difference from a white Colombian versus a foreign Colombian, let's say an American Colombian, is it the, is it the uh, social status or I'm just trying to um, get some understanding on that. That's all. Okay. You okay. guys have here, white, white men there in Colombia. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Here's based by the status that that person, the Colombian per, or the Colombian citizen have in the States. And he is a resident. <laughs> that's different. And he is a citizen. Okay. That's different. Because, you know, you put so many years, hard work, pay taxes and everything to get your papers done. So, but he's just an immigrant, a regular so Colombian. the social status and the um, exactly. economic opportunities. Economic opportunities. Because exactly. you grow mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. it's a woman grows up in, let's say, Colombia, where the, mm -hmm. the U.S. dollar stretches like four times, right? So, if let's say she gets lucky and meets a man that's fortunate enough to treat her right, marry her, wants to take her away, and better her life, right? Nine times out of ten, she's probably going to take it because of the economic opportunity of the place she's going to go to versus what she gets there. Most Colombians make what two hundred fifty dollars a month. You know what I mean? Yeah, two hundred. Yeah, two hundred sixty depends on how the dollar is going. But uh, under the yeah. three hundred, yeah, that's not a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's not all. <laughs> yeah. So two hundred fifty dollars, man. That's my life bill. <laughs> to be honest, so the economic yeah. opportunity for her presents growth, and it's a chance for her to also learn new things. But I mean, with me myself, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take away. What happens if you take a plant out of the native soil that is here and try to put it somewhere? <laughs> it does not grow the same. And by the way, shout out to Andre. <laughs> shout out to you, brother. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's one. I'm going to start to read uh, all the comments. Okay. Let's see. Whatever you are, a man or woman, do not choose a, a woman, a man who has nothing to lose. The little red flags or things that came up. Sh okay, come on. Uh, she made you think twice, really investigate the person. That's right. But even though that these you have three kids and it's still doing it. That was a red flag. That would have been a red flag as a guy. Like, why are you not what's up with the kids? You know what I'm saying? And kids, kid, because they're they're not uh, okay. He got a, a taller and he got two kids, but really short babies. To be sincere, uh, German said, wait, he sent her friend uh, $1,000 to spy on her. I really hope she wasn't set up by her uh, best friend out uh, of envy or oh, jealousy. Mm, that's a really good question. Uh, Lou say, I think the issue is that not too many beautiful women will give him the time of day. Mm -hmm. He seems out of shape. That's what I was saying about the way that he was looking. Uh, out of shade, too basic looking. And I'm telling you that he, okay, I'm telling you uh, he fits in the criteria of a simp. Can I chime in on that really quick? Um, <laughs> just just my own um, opinion. Um, when, it, when it comes to white white american men in these foreign countries especially latin american countries and i've witnessed this in brazil also so i'm not just picking on one particular country but really it doesn't matter too much about looks when it comes to the, the white gringo you know because it's like you said they have social status they have economical opportunities so regardless of how they look their store mm -hmm. they are still more favorable because of the social status but also what is portrayed in movies and the whole prince charming you know the uh white shiny armor and etc so even though i would say um i don't know how to pronounce her name that um that has the comment mm -hmm. but i would beg mm -hmm. to differ yes. um on what she's on what she's talking about because just like as this guy he he got a really nice co uh, colombiana and she's she's pretty hot but as to you guys, he's a, a basic Brad or a, a basic Chad, you know. So, I mean, does that? I mean, I, that's just my own personal opinion. No, know, that, that's cool. Mean. That's cool. <laughs> Everybody got his different opinion. I we totally respect each other's opinion. I mean, but brother, what do you think? Yeah, you brother? think? I mean, being being in in African American or, or black Black American, you know, when it comes to the white guy. Be in other countries with this um, profile. Well, honestly, um, what's portrayed to other countries before recently, anyway, before recently, was not anything having to really do with black people. You know, if you seen black people in movies and things like that, hey, we were the bad guys, we were the gangsters, the pimps, the drug dealers, etc. Right. So most magazines and TV shows, they only show really white people. Only now they've started showing a better light on us, and I, I really like that, especially on the international level. But <clears throat> it takes for people outside of the country to educate themselves. Like I have friends from Guatemala that never had a black friend. I'm the, I'm the only black person he ever knew until they start meeting other people, right? So they never knew how we really were. They, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like chicken, but they thought that that's all I really ate all the time because of what they read in magazines and stuff, right? So you, as much as we try to blend in with other cultures, we have to also know that a negative light has been shown so long about us that we have to portray ourselves in a way that changes the mind of other people and other cultures so they'll know that what they learned before they met us is not exactly how we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that, that related to my question, but um, that was that was some um, th those were gems you were dropping. Though. I, I respect that. Um, mm -hmm. But what I 
wanted to ask ask you again. I'll try to make it a little bit more simpler. Um, what I what I said about you know regard, regarding looks when it comes to the white guy, he doesn't have to be hot because he's he's just white. And as to other countries like Colombia, as she said, you know a lot of white guys, white gringos are picked and married, you know according to their families. Um, and he doesn't have to be smoking hot. Why is that? You know, just based off his his color and his nationality. Um, do you do you agree with that because of what the media portrayed and the historical uh, media has portrayed them to be? Okay, wait a second. Let me get <laughs> the question get this straight. No, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, ask him as as a black. No, guy. Okay. That's why I said what I said. <laughs> I don't agree with it because people still mm -hmm. have uh, mm -hmm. standards now. What I'm saying is maybe a long time ago, at the first glance of a white dude in a foreign country, mm -hmm. yeah, they might have been like that, but not now. It's totally different. Mm -hmm. See what I'm That's interesting. It's, it's totally different. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. just the simple fact that he's white, which is, you know, yeah, he might look like he's out of shape and everything else, but just the simple fact that him being white is not going to get him in the door anymore. It's, but that status also, though. Yeah, but he's got to have some status. That dude didn't have nothing. I'm referring to that nationality specifically. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's just based on his race. I think it was based on the money he was sending. You say, you say you think it's based on money? Yeah, because he was sending her money. Like, mm -hmm. you know how much a thousand dollars is in Colombia? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Hey, That's a lot of money, right? Uh, well, I, I, I didn't say that he. They really pay, but what I base and, and you start to to make the account and everything, and she was wearing this type of clothes after he had plastic surgery. I I think like okay, she maybe she got surgery under six months, and during that time she was with him. So mm -hmm. maybe that could be uh, one of the reasons that he thought that he, she belongs to me. I'm her owner, and do everything <laughs> that I want. Uh, yeah, because she you can tell that she got plastic surgery, very nice plastic surgery, but that is not any reason to do what he does to her. Uh, but yeah, I mean, and, and, and another thing that got me is, um, <clears throat> oh my bad, <clears throat> it's uh, her ex-boyfriend was a young uh, man, Colombian man. So maybe she was looking different stuff, different experience. And that's one of the things that maybe the money was between in, in this relationship, you can tell, but it's not, that's not any reason that he delete her at all. Mm. Yeah. Can I, can, can I just respond Seriously. to a few uh, comments, comments in your uh, section? Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but the guy who wrote, why are you focusing, why are you focusing on the white guy? Focus on, on the yourself. white guy. Well, well, because if you look at the title of this live and you look at this, this video, you know, this is not a very rare situation. This, this is extremely common. So of course we have to point out the elephant in the room and we have to be vocal about it, you know, and I would ask her as a Colombian, why is it not the Colombian guy is not focusing on these white guys that are coming to the country um, and, you know, not putting more focus on them. Well, to be honest, when you go to other countries, they don't really care about color. American is American. Only here, we focus on color. And in other countries, you're just a green guy. I'll, I'll, beg, I'll beg to a differ on that, but, you know, we have our different differences in opinions, but I mean, I don't know too much about Colombia or Brazil, but I do know mm -hmm. that, you know, Brazil, and I'm not trying to uh, take it or take the conversation away from Colombia, but just to be short and brief, but Brazil was the last country to abolish slavery. Now that, that if, if you're saying that that really had nothing to do with color, then um, that would be very ignorant to think of. Um, now, Colombia, when it comes to, uh, you know, not putting things in per perspective of color, but she herself just said, well, when the white gringo comes, you know, and they tend to marry the Colombians, it's pretty favorable. Yeah, which is true. They do tend to marry the Colombians. Okay, so that debunks your argument about guys, color has nothing to do with it. 
a lot of guys ten. They've been going overseas longer than we have marrying foreign women. But do you not understand what I just said? Which was? You said that this has nothing to do with color, but no, this whole not. this whole no. argument is no. based on color, though. But the only thing I'm saying is mm -hmm. they've been doing it longer than it's been known or been broadcast about, right? Am I, am I right about that? Who, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, has been happening. And, and what I base you guys is the information that we always have, right. not just right. this year, it's 10 years ago. We always got right. those cases. And when they show those cases in the reports and news, most right. of the cases are coming from white people. Right. And you probably hardly <laughs> ever going to hear about that coming from a black guy. So how are you not going to say it's not based on color? That's yeah. I'm just a little confused about that, or I must I, I'm not understanding where you are coming from. If if this is the, the majority where it's based off, that's all. I get what you're trying to say. I get what you're trying to say. It's just not solely about color. You know what I'm saying? Even though the typical guys that we're talking about right here are white people. It's just not just a white people thing because we got black people that could possibly do the same thing to a Colombian woman too. But the cases that I heard of are from the white guys. Yeah. Okay, let's say a man with three kids uh, on a different country wouldn't meet the satisfactor in her father's eyes. He could, uh, he could, have been with a great financial uh, advisor, but the dad would have been concerned about the kids in the U.S. That's one of the comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait a second. Muslim money, he say, advice number one, if you are insecure, uh, yeah, about the jealousy here in Colombia. Number two, if you are not used to date beautiful or younger women, so obviously they're not, <laughs> not ready to that, so don't do it. If you are mentally unstable in the States, stay home. Yeah. I agree. I'm agree 100%. If you're not ready for that, no, stay home. Seriously, because you're going to have a headache here. And more, and more, and more if you're not living here, and you're a controlling person, that this example that we're talking about today, this case, yeah. Okay, Real Brother. Arriba, Colombia. <laughs> yeah. Real Brother say, somebody catch me out was the topic. Okay, Real Brother, uh, you need to rewatch this. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> um, it was a case that we have in here. It happens this week, of course. Um, white American. Um, he deleted a Colombian woman, young Colombian woman, and he was super extra jealous, controlling her. And he hired a detective to because he got a suspect that she was cheating on him. So, um, end of the day, he deleted her this past um weekend. It's gonna be a week, uh, this past weekend, and he ran away to uh, Panama and they called in Panama and brought him back to Bogota and right now they start to the audience or the audiencia to start to put all the evidence videos and everything all the videos on on YouTube so you can put uh, her name Valentin, Valentina Tres Palacios and that's all the information videos because I won't show you guys those videos no no or any photos either so if you want looking on the uh reach out on YouTube yeah that's that, that's my um, little story. But you need to rewatch the whole live stream to get more details. Yeah, because that, yeah. Um, okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, okay. I have, I, I have a question yeah. for you and uh, uh, Andre. Um, and maybe Andre, he can probably answer this too, though, since he's been in Colombia for a minute. Um, but a lot of a lot of people are um, confused about, for example, if if an American commit an American crime in your country, um, can they be pro pro can they be prosecuted, or it or they have to go back to that country? Okay, wait a minute. If he did the crime here 
in the country? You say in Colombia, right. for example. Right. So because there's a lot of um, misinformation going on saying that, well, for example, if if we have a law that you guys don't have in your country, but if we commit it in your country, but but it's not against that, it's not against uh, your, your guys' law, um, how does that work? Do you guys just de deport the American back to that country, or how does that work? No, for example, like this, if, like this uh, case, if you uh, commit a crime here in the mm -hmm. country, you pay jail, we say pagar cárcel, or you going to jail here. In Colombia. In Colombia. Okay, in Colombia, perfect. especially with a Colombia citizen. Oh. That's the rule here. Yeah. Um, and it's fair. To be, to, to be real, it's fair. To I mean, you did it here, you pay here. With the Colombia jails that they are horrible compared to the state's jails. But here, the jails... <laughs> There's another levels. Yeah, it's country laws. Okay. Um, I think we almost, yeah, we're almost done with this live stream, you guys. We're having one hour, 35 minutes. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's what happened, real brother. That's the story about the, the, the girl, and we're still going and going and going with more and more and more and more information, if you know what's today. Mm, but yeah, that was the, yeah, you guys, that was the topic for tonight. If you uh, missed this uh, live stream, only request the live stream because it's a lot of information that I give to you guys. And if you want <laughs> to see videos or something or more know about, about this case, go to YouTube because everything is on YouTube and they only mail too. Okay, let me say, uh, they say, Brittany say, always make some loser making things bad for everyone. Mm, yeah, yeah, okay, we got another one. Why would Colombia <laughs> you put that O with capital O? <laughs> Colombia. Why Colombia recognize American laws? Uh, for example, if you hit them in uh, trees in Amsterdam, you're fine. Okay, I'm lost with that question. Because I know with a Colombian person, let's say that I'm doing something in Spain or all the type of country, I, I'm going to jail over there. There's no way that you're going to take you back, at least that the family do the whole thing to because for medical reasons you need to be with your loved ones and you're close to your family but rest of that you going to jail uh outside if you do any crime outside you pay outside for colombians it works like that hmm. yeah it is like that like for perfect example uh, a girl that she took drugs to china and that happens years ago and she is, is still in china uh waiting for the the um, waiting for uh, how to say you guys when in china you know they, they got different laws it most extreme laws uh when it comes to drugs and everything so they're trying to family trying to looking for bring her back to at least that she can be in jail in colombia but it's not it's not that easy is she is still in jail she's very young she's on the 30. okay yeah. Okay, you guys. Thank you a lot for this live stream. Thank you, you guys, Stefano and uh, brothers aboard. Thank you a lot for coming to this <laughs> abroad. channel. Yeah, <laughs> brothers abroad. Abroad. <laughs> abroad. My, you know my pronunciation sometimes. But thank you a lot. Thank you a lot for being here. And I uh, hope you guys got an amazing week. Thank you for the for the info, your question, your opinions, and your super <laughs> chat and everything. You guys, thank you a lot. And my guest, thank you so much. For giving your time to this live stream. We'll see you in the next live stream. And tomorrow we're drinking hand in law crossing borders. <laughs> I for sure. Ciao. Okay.